guys. My name is Tim Damani Andrew, a data analyst for UBS Edge. So for today's section, we'll be doing web scraping using the Microsoft Power Automate or Microsoft Power Automate. It's actually a basically the Power Automate just for automating text. So we'll be using the Microsoft Power Automate desktop for this project. So the Microsoft Power Automate is just under the Microsoft Power Platform and it's also used for automating text. So first thing I have to download the Power Automate desktop. So I'll go to my browser. Let me just search for download Power Automate desktop. Take some time to go to the store. Okay, I'll come here and I'll just click on download or automate desktop browser for your device. So, we're going, well, I won't download it because I actually have it on my system already. So, I'll just go along with the video. I won't download it because I actually have it on my system already. So, after, after you've done it, you go through the installation process and everything. So after that is done, you open your Power Automate text, so which stays it over here. Flow, so create a flow. Let me just name this Power Web Scraping. Power Automate Web Scraping. Okay, so now after this is done, Today we're going to be doing web extraction, right? That's the test extraction from the web. So let's just search for launch. So let's launch. So it depends on the um basically it depends on the browser you're using, which you have actually added an extension to. I've added my extension to my Microsoft Edge. So I just drag my Microsoft Edge and I'll drop it in my main sheet. So you can see now, launch new instance, it's asking for the URL. So I'll go and get the URL. So what I plan doing today, I plan scraping data from one of the most Nigerian most popular e-commerce sites, which is Jumia. I'm search for Jumia Nigeria. Okay. But this is actually what I plan scraping today. It's more of a BA product, say. So this is what you go to the search bar. Let me just search for BA. Okay, so I've been looking for beer oil for a very long time. Okay, so after this, I'm just copy the URL. I will come here, I'll paste the URL here. That's the URL. I'll change this to maximize. Maximize. Let's check advance. Okay, let's check variable. So I'll we name the variable as edge. Edge browse variable. I think we're good. So I'll save. So the next one now is web extraction. So I'll go to remember we're extracting data, right? So there are different ways. Well, extract data from the web. Extract data from a web page. You can see we have extract data from a web page. So I come here, I drag it, I drop it here. So you can see the variable name which I created edge browser, right? The variable everything is still intact, right? So the next thing now to go to my browser now. So I open my browser. If you noticed the live web helpers come out, this is what's going to help me to record. This is basically what's going to help me to record all my steps. So let's start. Let me select some things I want now. Okay, I want the name. Say product name. Okay, one product name. I want the price. Okay, so I want the price. Um, I want the. I want, say I want the rating also. So I have three point seven out of out of five star and a total of two thousand two hundred and forty people bought the product. Okay. I think you're all good with all this one now. So let's go back to the, the next one now. Just watch what will happen now. If I select this, what you notice, everything has been automatically selected. Because why the um, power to this automate was able to create what I will actually select next. So it basically selected all the three criteria I selected in the first step. So you can see everything has been selected, right? So I click on finish. So now the next step is now saying 
store data mode is variable but also change don't store it in an excel spreadsheet so don't store it in an excel spreadsheet so i'm going to do what i'm going to click on save now so the last step is now to close browser window and save so i have three steps now you can see the first step launch new browser the second step is extract data from a web page the last step is now close browser close web browser so what I just need to do now is just to click on run and watch what happens. So you just relax and watch. So you can see, notice the flow automatically open my edge browser for me. So it's still loading, it's still extracting data for me. So I just relax and watch. Okay, that's finished. Let's come back here. So you can see, like, notice here there's a new Excel spreadsheet here. If I open it, if I maximize it, if I make it bigger, what do you guys notice? You can see now that these are all the products. All the products. So I just post. Okay. Just Price. Rating. So that was all I was to do. And. As you can see that's all I need to do basically. You see how fast this is. So I don't need to start taking a product one after the other weeks. But I want to make desktop, it just makes it work faster. So fast, so fast. So I see the I think I actually bought this. I bought this. So you can see all the product, right? And the price with the rating. So I just look okay, which one has a good rating and highest number of price. So with this I can also easily analyze my data without necessarily picking information one after the other from the internet. So after you've done that, you cannot go to your Power Automate, Power Automate Desktop, and you cannot save your file. Happy you learned a lot, guys. So this video was brought to you by your BizEdge. Don't forget to like and click the subscribe button. Bye.